Dorothy with Dot Scrapbooking, and thanks for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to my, cha my YouTube channel, please subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. Today we're working on Snow Fun, which is the third project of the Wonderland Scrapbooking Kit. I've made a few additions. It doesn't change the wonderful design. Uh, it just adds a little sparkle. Thanks for joining. Hi, this is Dorothy and I am back with project number three. I'm kind of looking forward to this one, I have to tell you, because one thing we're going to be using is this wonderful die cut sheet that has these beautiful snowflakes. So let me just try to pop them out. And they are so delicate. Look at that. I mean, so beautiful. So I am, I am really anxious to use those. I try not to rip anything here. This is just like, what a present. I mean, you know I'm a sucker for snowflakes now. Okay, you got that. But these things are just so delicate and such a gorgeous color. We've got different sizes. There we go. Ah, are they not beautiful? Okay, so we are working on project three. So let me just set my little snowflakes aside. And this is project three. Now, you know, we've had Glacier for a long time. This is Glacier, and this is really one of my favorite colors. It goes with so much, pretty much everything. And it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Now this is the back side of the kind of sweater looking paper. Um, that's the only tough thing with our paper is when you see that, see this is when you have to just go buy an extra pack so you can use this paper for uh, some other stuff. So this is going to be the background for these pages. And we've got tons of snowflakes for this one. So let me just pop out all these die cuts. The This page is just going to be loaded with snowflakes. So I'm thinking I can squeeze in some of my glitter snowflakes, that glitter paper snowflakes that I made earlier this week. See, these are so pretty. Oh my. These are like star snowflakes. I don't know what else to call those. Now I like this journaling. Look at this journaling piece. Little banner flag. That is so cute. I like that. Okay, this is a virtual snowstorm. And the other thing we're going to be doing with these pages is we're going to be doing some more of the um, adding the, uh, what was that called? the white gloss spray to, mm, come on, pop out there, to these rosemary picture frames. Okay, let me pop out these little pieces here. And this says, good times. That's so cute. I like that. 
Now you could make something like this on your Cricut by just taking some, make a um, whatever you want to put, good times or whatever, life is, life is good, um, and kind of attaching it to a rectangle and welding it. And it would cut out like that. That would be, that would be cool. Okay, so let me set these things aside. And I'm going to have to get out my box. So the first thing, we're going to spray. We're going to spray these. There should be three of them here. There are three. And the good times. So what is A, B, C, and D? Am I missing one? I might be missing one. I am. I should have four of these. Let me see if they're in my stack over here. Here it is. There we go. The fourth one. So, okay. Let me get out my box. So here's my box. And I'm going to set my pieces around. Okay, here we go. Just going to give this a good shake. There's a, a ball inside to help help stir it up. I'm trying to see if it says how long to shake it. Shake well before use. Just shake well. You know what I'm going to take? This is if I use a white for a scrap, I won't be able to see what I'm doing to see what it looks like. Okay. I'm trying to hold my hand away. The last time I did this, I had my hand right in the way. And this is actually working pretty good. Okay, uh, you know, less is more, Dorothy, less is more. It's hard for me to do that. Okay, let me set my box aside and let that stuff dry. And let's see what does it say. Use the this for the base page. Attach. Well, I have to let those those pieces dry first. So it could be I'll just have to. Embellish with snowflakes and stickers. So we can just kind of, that's not used. Let's see what's used, like this one. This is going to go here, and then there's going to be, hmm, there's going to be stuff on top of it. So I think I'm just going to, there's all sorts of things. Hold on. You know what? I was missing snowflakes. I had cut this apart from Project 2. Um, just to make it easier. So and then, then I forgot about it. Okay, so let me just cut, pop these out. Boy, there's so many snowflakes. So 
So I have to tell you, it is Saturday, and we yesterday, Jim, we were using Philip's smoker, the one we used for cooking the Thanksgiving, smoking the Thanksgiving turkey. And he's used it again. He, he's not one to barbecue, but he likes this smoker. He gets to play with the fire and uh, get it to a certain degree, and that's kind of a challenge for him, and he likes that. And uh, so he got it all ready, but we, he said, you know, he wanted to cook another chicken. And so we bought a whole chicken at Kroger and uh, one of their Simple Truth Organic Chickens. But it was like five, five pounds, five and a half pounds or whatever, big chicken. They make chickens different than they used to. Used to be you'd get a two pound hen. But anyway, so um, I brined it last night overnight. Um, and it's gonna be kind of a Cajun, it's gonna be a real spicy chicken. So it's got, um, it was brined in Cajun brine and um, that I kind of made up. So we'll see, we may be burning, having hot lips later on. And uh, then I made a, a barbecue rub to put on top of it when I took it out of the brine this morning. So it's in there smoking right now. And uh, should be really good, I hope. I hope I didn't make it too hot. But we like hot in this house. Okay, so what they're doing with some of these, like this one is, is it like goes on here. Is it under or over? Hmm, kind of hard to tell, but it's pretty big compared to this. I think it goes like this. So that one's going to go up there, and then one a rather large snowflake is going to go over here. Look at how pretty. So this is, oh, this is not supposed to be that. This is supposed to be the glacier background with the white snowflake. And then this, this is going to go there. And then we have our snow fun. And then we've got a big old snowflake here and a smaller, one of my wisteria snowflakes is going here. And this kind of star is going to go up here with, those are the same size. Sometimes you swear that they're different sizes and you put them up next to each other and sure enough they're the same size. And then this one's going to go here. Then we've got our three rosemary photo mounts. <clears throat> and another wisteria. So this is going to be very, very pretty. That's that. Here's one of those. And kind of one of these. and a small one of these. And another one is gonna go like right in the center. Have all different kinds of these snowflakes. Here, and let's see. This one, and then this one, 
And there's something here that I have no idea what it is. It might be a sticker. Let me see if it's a sticker. Yes, it's this sticker. It's going to go there, but I'm going to wait for the my little mounts to dry. And I have... Oh, wow. See how pretty that looks. See, that might have to go, like, down here. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but I've got these other snowflakes. So I'm going to just kind of save these. And I also want to use some of these little things for later. Okay, so let's just kind of see what the next page is going to look like. Oh, and that's going to be the good times. So there's going to be a whole array of snowflakes over here. This is going to be such a beautiful layout. Okay, well, let me check and see how my drawing is coming. So here are my Here are my pieces. And I think what I'm going to do is mount <clears throat> the uh 3x4 placeholders on there. Maybe it'll make them lay down a little bit. This rosemary is kind of a dull green um, which is nice with this glacier background. It just has a subtle look to it. I like it. I always, you know, I just really appreciate that. Let's see, let me go back to my right page here. There we go. Okay, so this is going to go down three right in here. So I'm going to this is going to be just a quarter of an inch over from the uh, let me get my paper straight here. These aren't lined up perfectly square, so it doesn't really make a difference. So it's three, three and three eighths, which is close to um, three and a half, and over about a quarter of an inch, which is about like right in here. And then this one is. Am I out? I'm out. That's the wrong kind. Wait a second. Mm 
Okay, here we go. Need to get some more refills from the other room. So this one is also three and three eighths and one quarter. So <clears throat> one, two, three and three eighths and a quarter. So like right over like that. And then this is going to go right in between the two. Just like that. And then they have you, so you do this and you attach your photos and then embellish with the snowflakes. Um, attach the snow fun with 3D. So I think they want you to put the snowflakes down first and then we'll come back and do the um, the uh, title. Okay, so let's go and go ahead and attach these two together. So I'm going to put a nice ring of glue in the center and kind of adjust adjust the arms of the snowflake so that you can still see the dark snowflake underneath and then this glacier dot is going to go right on top of that and you know that's kind of this is kind of a good time to use a bunch of foam dots to put under so that the snowflakes can kind of stick some of them can stick up so this one is going to be you know kind of like um, in here and this one looks like it goes flat underneath and then this little guy is going to be underneath also and this kind of is tucked under so let's see you know this is just I just want to dot the dot this very carefully this one keeps on getting clogged up. Here we go. Could be that it's just running low. And I'm just, just putting, well, some of the dots are bigger than I in intended. Okay, and this one's gonna go under here. Oh goodness, I love that. And then we have this big dude. Is going to be under. And he kind of touches touches this and kind of points to that one. And then we've got the little wisteria snowflake and he is going to go oh, my fingers are getting sticky and the glue dries clear so okay I think I'm going to pop him up I'm going to be sticking to everything. <laughs> I 
So he's going to be up here. And this is going to be down under. And he kind of gets tucked under. Got my paper all whopper jawed. So the you come back and do um, some of the little dots. So like they have a dark dot here. So that kind of sticks out. And there's Ginger coming to visit. We took her to the vet yesterday, get her some medication to help. She just is a very anxiety riddled dog for whatever reason. Okay, I'm missing a snow. Oh, it's this. I know what it is. It's that, this one, the um, sticker snowflake. And that is going to need a little dusting from the anti-static pouch so it can kind of go over the picture. And uh, it is going to get a pretty glacier dot on it. I think I'm going to put a kind of medium sized one there. And this is going to get the tiniest amount of glue here and there. So I, I've just gotten into with these smoking these turkeys and chickens, the spatchcocking. And spatchcocking, I, I know I've told you before, is, um, there's a snowflake that goes down here, but I have no idea which one it is. So this one is going to go on top, so I can do that. Spatchcocking is taking out the backbone, so you can lay the whole bird flat. And what I have gone out and gotten is, it doesn't really look like the right snowflake. Let's see if we have anything over here. I can tell you what we do have is these little guys, and that goes on top of there. And there should be a blue one here that goes on top. Oh, see, I thought that it got at that, but it was supposed to get this. But you know what? This would be pretty there. And so I'm going to put it there. Okay. What am I missing? Um, <clears throat> so anyway, the spatchcocking. So uh, let me tell you that the uh, scissor that I got to cut out, you don't want to use knives because um, it's just kind of a tough thing to do because you're cutting through bone. So I'm going to put a dot here unless I have another one of those blue things. I do have this. I'm going to use one of those is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that right there. So you're cutting the bone out. And um, not an easy task, just so you know. 
So what I found is I got a, for about, I want to say 15, 15 or $16 at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got a um, OXO uh, scissor to cut the bone and cut through the bone and it works beautifully so not only does it have a really strong uh, ability to cut through the bone very sharp scissors but um, it's very easy to use it comes apart so you can take the scissor two pieces apart and uh, Clean it really well because you want to, you know, when you're cutting poultry, you want to make sure that you're, you know, cleaning your utensils really well. So the uh, super easy to take it apart. And oh, we get to use one of these. How about that? One of our, our swirling flurries. So I would highly recommend, there's all sorts of, sorts of scissors specifically for spatchcocking, but I would highly recommend the OXO. It just worked absolutely beautifully. So this is going to go like this and kind of curl around, and I am going to use my my anti-static right there. So we've got this one and this one, and this needs a little dot like that. And then we need a big, big old snowflake to go right here. Now, I wonder could do it like this. Or just like this. I think I'll do that. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm saying, is the OXO scissor for spatchcocking uh, a chicken or a turkey is definitely the way to go. Um, and it's not as hard as just you think. So you just kind of lay the bird on the, uh, on the breast. And, uh, so the back is facing you. And if you start at the tail, the Parsons nose, the, the tail of the, um, bird and cut up either side of the spine and then turn it or flip it around and go to the neck and cut down then you'll you'll get it uh, and it's really is not as hard as you think it might be as it sounds I'm going to put a little white one on top This is getting low because all the glue is at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put him right in there. And I am going to add a dot on top of it to just kind of make it stand out. And let's see. They have kind of a medium, so I'll put like a medium gray. Anyway, the bird cooks faster, it cooks more evenly, and um, it comes out absolutely wonderful with the uh, smoking. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. So 
So here, 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 this, this one, this one, this one, that, that. Okay, now, now it's time for the title. And the title is Snow Fun. A Snow Fun. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and use my anti-static. And just kind of de-stick this a little bit. And I'm going to add I'm working over to the side here. Going to add lots of my squares. And we're halfway, halfway finished with this layout. Kind of hard to choose. I do like the first one, and I do love this one. Get all those pretty colors together. Okay, so this is just going to go like right in here. And it gets this little, little guy going under here to kind of highlight it. Look at how cute. Can you stand it? It's so pretty. I could add additional dots around here because like this could stand a dot. I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the big old dot right here. Okay, look at how pretty that is. Okay, next. Okay, so this is on to page two. And I have a casserole going in the oven that just needs to cook a little bit longer. Oh, look, that's where our journaling thing is going to go. Very good. Okay, so we've got our picture frames. So there's one. And here's the other. Oh, look, this is getting a double frame. Oh, pretty. So that's going to go on top of that. Nice, really nice. Now you could use a smaller picture here if you wanted more of that uh, wisteria background to show. That's very pretty. I didn't know that's how that was going to work. And I'm just doing equidistant, eyeballing equidistant. And we're going three and three eighths. No, oh, excuse me, from the bottom and three and a half. So three and a half. So right over here.
just right in there. And then this is going to go right over to the edge like that. On a bit of a slant. And one of these little stars is going to go under here. And this, I love this. And I like. Oops, what happened here? I think I ran out. Well, let me see. Hmm, hold on. So this, this matches that. So very nice, and we're going to tuck this under and under like that. There we go. So one of these is going to go over here, and a big one is going to go here. That's going to go up here. I'm just doing kind of a dry run here. Okay, here. And this one's going here. Big one's going to go like that. And it gets a hysteria center. Like that. So that one's going to go right in here. And then another wisteria. This is going down here. This is going here. Okay, I got called to dinner and it was unbelievable. The chicken was just absolutely fabulous. Um, okay, so where am I? Uh was putting snowflakes down, haven't glued them in yet. This one, this one. Um, let's see. This really big one. I'm going to put my little pouch to it. And it's going to go down like that. I'm just adding a little lift to this snowflake. And let's see. I think I'm going to put one of my glitter snowflakes down here.
So Jim did something weird. He put in, I have these little tiny purple t potatoes, and he decided to put those in the smoker and just whole, I mean, they're little tiny things. And oh my gosh, those were like the best things I've ever had. I can't imagine why you would want to smoke a potato, but they really just came out delicious. Okay, so I'm putting this swirling. I think I'm going to tuck the tail under here and come around there is what I'm going to do with that. And we're going to have a few, let's see, Winter Magic. I already used that. Maybe I'll put Snow Business. Going right here. I don't know. There's here's a I need some purple. I think here's a lady pulling a little. I think this is sweet. Okay, I'm gonna put that down here. And this looks like, let's see, gets one of these. And one of these. Actually, this is a bigger one, and it is supposed to go up here. And the smaller one goes down here. And I'm going to put this little lady going across there because she's so cute with her little, pulling the little sled. Okay, so I am, they have stickers down here. And what I am going to do is use. Let me see. I'm going to pull this up and scoot it over. Put that under and do a little mitten and a hat from my little felt pieces because they're cute. And I'm going to put a little tree down here because, just because, it's cute. Okay, so let me just start sticking the other snowflakes down, goodness gracious. Okay, so I'm going to put one under, kind of tuck one under here. Ah, that one doesn't go there. It's this little snowflake. from the sticker sheet goes right here. Oh, but it, you know what? It goes on top of this. Okay, I'll get it eventually. Let's see. It kind of goes like that. And there's Ginger. Peeping. So that's going to go there. And then we've got this snowflake. So it's going to go here.
another pop-up. It's going to go like that. And there we go for the little wisteria snowflake. This is here. That's there. This one's down. I need a snowflake here. You know what I have? I have some felt flakes that I'm going to put down and just kind of put those around. So I've got a white one, a white, and a little silver. And so I think I'm just going to go ahead and put these down just for my little, little bit of glitz. I might put actually this one over here to add a little glamour over there. And I think I'll scooch that one under there. I mean, I can't see that you can have too many snowflakes here. And I'm going to put this one in here. And let's see if I'm missing anything. I think I'm just missing some dots. So let's see what we've got. Okay, I'm going to put a... Uh, a dot here. I'm going to put a wisteria dot here. <clears throat> and... A tiny, did I put glue on that? Yeah, it just hasn't dried yet. And this is going to get, this is going to get a medium wisteria dot going up here. That, okay, that's the perfect size for that. And we've got a dark dot here, here and here. And let's see, um... one here. Okay, let me get the first page over here and see what we're... I have some big snowflakes left, which I don't know whether I missed using them up. Or, so let's see, I think we need some dots over here. Missing. And I don't, I don't think we need the peach color on here because we've got our glacier and charcoal and wisteria on here. So I think that this is, 
that is it for whoops you know what I have one more silver so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it right up here I think that's it. I think that I've got everything. So I, ugh, it's hard for this to not be my favorite because of all the different snowflakes. I mean, it's really hard for this not to be my favorite. Um, so I, I'm in love with this one. And I think it would just be wonderful to put your pictures on here with snow. I already have some in mind for uh, some of our snow from last year. And I think these are just, would be perfect for them. So anyway, I'm so happy that you joined me and uh, came through lunch with me. And having smoked potatoes, they were pretty darn good, I have to tell you. Uh, I would highly recommend. Um, and brine your chicken and then add a rub to the top and make sure you put it under the skin as well as on top of the skin. It came out so delicious. The brining of the chicken just makes all the difference in the world on whether your meat is juicy or not. And I'm talking about the white meat too. So, um, it's just amazing the difference it's made. So anyway, thanks for, uh, coming along with me on my little snow journey and uh, this once again is Wonderland and you know if you haven't subscribed to my channel please uh, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can see when the next video is coming. I have to tell you I love doing these I just love doing them and I love doing them in hopes that people are watching and you know, getting something from it. We learned how to do splatter painting with the spray paint to add a little bit of uh, snow dimension to our our mats. So um, there's always something to learn. So even no matter how simple the technique is, there's something to learn. So thank you so much. Y'all take care. Bye now. Okay, I have one more thing. So I, this is the project one and I have one mitten left and the mitten matches the hat that's on project one. So I am going to use my last felt shape and put it next to the hat on project one. So that way, I like I like using up all my, uh, there's no reason to keep stuff, right? So now we've got matching hat and glove and same thing on project three. And I really do like this one too. This is a really pretty, pretty layout. Um, and then we've got the hat and the glove over here. So, okay, I'm happy now. Thank you, <laughs> bye. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.